Let's go. Let's go shit. <laughs> <laughs> this thing you never get bored, right? It's strange. Like sometimes after one moment, oh, it's so crazy, it's unhealthy. I don't want to eat it. But I find myself eating next morning too. <laughs> it's addictive. <laughs> สวัสดีครับผมชื่อเทยองนะครับผมอายุ34ปีครับผมมาจากเมืองชังวันเกาหลีใต้นะครับรามเมน is fast and delicious nothing can beat this I think it's related to Korean economic development too In my dad's time, like 70s, 80s, they work six days a week, sometimes seven days a week, no break sometimes, right? My mom used to work in a factory, no break all day long. So even eating, they have to eat really fast and get back to work. So what's fast and delicious? Ramen, that's the only option. And it's cheap too, right? So all the Koreans just ate on ramen, work hard to make the country grow faster. Yeah, it started in Japan, but Koreans just adopted it. Make their own style. Strange enough, now you see more Korean instant noodle than Japanese instant noodle in the supermarket shelves, right? So, I don't think Japanese eat a lot of instant noodles, but Koreans eat a lot. That's why Koreans just keep developing the flavor and everything. Five times a week, they eat more than anyone else in the world. So even when they're outside, they just need it sometimes, and you can't cook it at home either, right? You just have to order a restaurant. Koreans eat rice every day too, right? But this thing, we just need it sometimes. No matter how rich you are, no matter how successful you are, you just need this instant noodle. I think we just grew up on it. Yeah. For Korean instant noodles, noodles are better, right? That's what I found out. Noodles are bigger, so it's got. More chewy mouthfeel when you eat it. Other ones are pretty thin, right? And Korean the seasoning has a lot more flavorful than instant noodles from other countries. Because they eat a lot, these companies keep developing flavor. And this bulldog bokumyeon, this crazy spicy the chicken noodle that's popular in Thailand, we don't have it in Korea. So they even make specific ramen for each area too. In Middle East, they make a lot of ramen for them. <laughs> and in Thailand, this really spicy one. That's for Southeast Asia only. You, you don't find it in Korea. There are a lot of flavors, but this classic Shin Ramen, you, you never get bored of it, right? You can try this new product, but you always go back to this. Yeah, Shin Ramen, that's, that's my favorite. <laughs> it's regular, it's like spicy, like nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah. yeah, we start by boiling water and Put um, noodle in it and seasoning together. We wait for a while to get it cooked, and we um, we touch it, swirl it around so ramen doesn't get hard. Stay, it moves around a little. We crack an egg in it, but we don't cook it. We it's the ending process. We only cook about half a second or one minute because we like it medium. And when it's ready, turn off the heat. Don hum goes in, sesame oil goes in. We traditionally cook and serve ramen in this yellow steel pot. We serve it. When my chef suggests me that we should do ramen here, I was against it. This is a beer bar. People don't drink beer with ramen, right? But I was wrong. <laughs> we put it on. Everyone eats it. That's the second most popular menu at our place. This instant noodle. Number one is fried chicken because it's it's fried chicken place. But I think it's Asian thing. When we get drunk and little, we just need hot soup with noodle, right? I think it's an Asian thing. So after a few beers, they just go for ramen. Rainy day. Rainy day. It's raining outside. It's a little cold. I need something warm in my body. And I'm too lazy to cook, I want to eat and sleep, so <laughs> that's when I make runs. Ramen chana. When I boil um, ramen at home, I put a little kimchi juice in it, so it becomes a little sour, soup gets a little thicker, and it tastes less like instant noodle, it tastes more like home-cooked meal. So that's the tip I can give you. Pour a little kimchi juice in it. 